Good morning everybody, Rick here. Today's adventure is taking us to Emporia, Kansas. We're going to be visiting a really cool site. It's Soden's, Soden's Dam and Falls. Really, really cool. I looked this up, found this on the internet. It's actually formed by the Cottonwood River falling over the Old Soden's Mill Dam south of town, south of Emporia. It's framed by a 1923 March Arch Bridge that has since been turned into a walking bridge, a pedestrian bridge for walking, bicycling, and that sort of thing. Um, of course, it was built by the March engineering firm out of Des Moines, Iowa. The bridge was built in 1923. Uh, William T. Soden built uh, a, the, built a mill and a furniture factory there in this area, in that area rather. The large two store the large two story mill opened in 1860 and it burnt down in the 1930s. But at any rate, hold on here just a second. I gotta get a cup of coffee. think this is going to be a really cool place to go visit, especially with the falls and all that underneath the old March Arch Bridge. So I'm inviting you to grab a jacket and come along and join me on this really, really historic site. So we'll see you in a bit. Bye for now. Hey everybody. We made it. We are here just outside of Emporia, Kansas at this beautiful Stone Arch, I'm sorry, <laughs> March Arch Bridge. Uh, what I did not tell in the, in the uh, intro, this is the Soden Grove March Arch Bridge. And there's a beautiful falls right down below it. So, let me swing right in. There's a memorial park, Veterans Memorial Park, just right over here. And we're going to go check it out in a minute. So I'm going to swing you around and let's get started. I thought we'd walk down here and take a look at these falls here first. Let's make some adjustments here real quick. All right. Okay. Uh, let's walk around here. It was very, very foggy this morning, but it finally lifted and it was a nice day. Now the Veterans Memorial Park is just right over there. We're going to go look at that in just a minute, but right now we're going to go check out these falls. And of course, there's the March Arch Bridge right up there. This is the only one I've ever seen that's turned into a pedestrian bridge. I think that's just really cool. And what else is cool is they give you this parking lot to park in. That is just so cool. You've got a, a pretty good sized parking lot here uh, to get out and enjoy this. It turned out to be a really nice, I mean, yeah, it's a little chilly, but other than that, it's just a really nice day. Look at that magnificent March Arch Bridge. And then there's the falls. There was a mill down here at one time. The mill burnt down in the 1930s. But this Soden actually had a, a furniture store and the mill.
There's actually a cottonwood trail that you can take. Let's go over here and we'll take a look at it. Cottonwood Trail, use at your own risk, no fishing, do not litter, do not enter when flooded. And there's a trail right there. Of course, we're not going to walk that this morning because we don't know where all this goes off to. Being able to get down below one of these is really, really nice because normally it's a little hard to get down into the actual bottom part of these bridges just because of the terrain, being on private property, you know, that sort of thing. So and there's a huge concrete slab down here, so I thought we might try to traverse this and get down here a little bit closer but there's all these pieces of concrete just laying everywhere now I don't know if that that's from the mill or what I'm trying to navigate my way down to this big slab. I'm trying. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all the way down there. It's just a little tricky. This might be good enough right here. So it looks like there's a way of getting down there on the other side. You can walk right to it. So we might go over there here in a minute and see if we can get over there from that side. Looks like it might be a little bit easier to get to. But let me just get the side of this magnificent March Arch Bridge. Really, really, really super nice. I actually see the underside of it, that's really rare. Well, let's go back up. Oh, that wasn't all that difficult. Okay, let's walk over here and go across the bridge. Really pretty nice morning for being January. Not too bad at all.
We'll walk over this way. Picnic table there. This is really very nice. Wow, look at this. And it's not drivable, so they've got these big, huge stone blocks. Blocking it. It is for walking only. But you can most certainly walk across it. Well, here we go. And there's a classic railing. That is of course associated with these March arch bridges. Now this is referred to as rainbow arch. These March arch bridges are rainbow arch style bridges. Sorry, I'm trying to kind of readjust my camera a little bit here. All right. Okay. Oh, I see a plaque here. Well, let's check this out. This property has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places circa 1923. Oh, well, that's what bridge headers had. This is just one span, but it is pretty large. Um, let's go over here. There's another plaque. Let me get down here. Uh, Rainbow Arch built by Western Bridge Company, Harrisonville, Missouri. But it was designed by March engineering at Des Moines, Iowa. I think what happened was when the bidding took place, Western bid, Bridge actually got the lower bid. So that's why they built it instead of March engineering, which I thought was kind of strange. This is actually 126 foot span. Okay, well, let's walk across this. I'll tell you what, this might just be one span, but it is very large. It's really nice to be able to walk across one of these and not, that, not have to worry about traffic too. That is really nice. This is not all graffitied up either, which that's really nice. Well, let's walk over to the falls.
our GPS had us going in on the wrong side of the bridge of this area and it was all blocked off and I thought no this ain't right because where's the uh, Veterans Memorial Park at? You're in the parking lot and all that so sure enough we drove on down a little ways and we found where we were supposed to be this morning These falls is what actually powered the mill. I thought there might be some remnants left of the mill. But there just doesn't appear to be. Vassar Bridge replaced this one in 1986, I believe. So they may have been using this up until that time. Well, let's go on. We are literally just outside of Emporia, Kansas. There's another plaque. Federal Aid Project, Kansas Highway Commission, State Highway Engineer, W.S. Ruggles, Resident Engineer, 1923. Federal Aid Project number 118. All right. Now see, this is the way we came in. We were actually parked just right on down that road a little ways and uh, there was the wrong, the wrong entrance, the wrong end. So, you know what, there does appear to be a trail down here. Kind of got to be careful. <laughs> Don't mean to be pointing my camera downward, but I'm just trying to navigate this to get down here. Now this is the other side of course there's the a little bit closer view of the falls well that's cheaper than what it looks And I just don't think I'm going to go much further than right here, right now. This is the other side, though.
that looks like more trail all right well let's navigate our way back up here again okay I am so glad the fog lifted. It was really very foggy this morning. And it finally cleared up. And like I said earlier, it's just really a pretty nice day. Boy, there's a huge clump of tree trunks, tree limbs, whatever. Huge. And there's a large, like a, maybe a sandbar out there. It says there's no fishing allowed, but you just kind of wonder. I've seen a bucket sitting out there in the middle of the dam. Just kind of makes you wonder. Here's another little sandbar area over here. If you look down, there's rocks and all kinds of stuff tree limbs, rocks, all right, I think this one of the easier bridges I've been to. <laughs> but you know, really, it's well worth it. It really is well worth it. Okay, well, I think we're going to go over and look at the uh, War Memorial. I'll probably come back over here one more time here a little bit. We've got some more locations to go to this morning.
All right, well, we're, I think we're going to go over here and look at this war memorial. So just hang on a minute, we'll be right there.